Uh, but this has just been absolutely wonderful to watch. And for him to score the winning goal against Juventus, that's a moment you're not going to forget. What is going on guys? It is JJ here, finally back with another Champions League video. Um, if you guys didn't know on the channel, I was unable to record anything for about two weeks uh, due to copyright strike battles with YouTube. Um, happily, we got those resolved and we can finally get back to bringing you the Champions League. And guys, guys, I if you didn't watch my prediction video, I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. Um, I called this match. Pound for pound, I said, I think Ajax can do this, and, and they, lo and behold, 5Gs, 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 Ajax. I'm so happy for you guys. I, it, it's, it's refreshing to see a team like this, um, because you don't see this in world football. I mean, the last team that I could think of that is like this was Monaco, uh, and obviously that team was dismantled. This team will be dismantled as well. That's why we get to enjoy the youthful one touch football all of the like every single player want to play with each other they know each other's style but i want to stop talking because we need we need to look at this match we need to look at this match i couldn't watch it live unfortunately i was trying to watch it live in class underneath my desk uh at, at my college courses while while in class uh so i didn't get to see all of it so i'm excited to finally get to look at as much as possible i hope you guys enjoy the champions league is back guys is back let's get into the video as well, guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. And I apologize for some of the blows on the screen. It's, once again, to avoid uh, copyright claims uh, and to show you guys the whole video. So, without further ado, let's get into this. So, let's get flattened in midfield. My man, Hakeem Zayek, got flattened in midfield. He, he really is... I, I, Zayek, Zayek has to be, I think he's obviously in the top three battle for uh, Africa, um, but he's he's just a baller at the moment. He really is on top of this game. He was he was a dog in this game. I wish the third goal, the third goal, the third goal, I wish it would have stood. If you know what I'm talking about, you know. That's a Shone. Good ball in. Right to Chesney. Lucky. You very solid defensively. That, that happens like that. Ooh, Cristiano. Ooh. He was ready for it. Great ball. Oh, touch, touch, touch. Oh, wait, is that a foul? Uh, no, I don't think so. They didn't blow, no, okay, they didn't blow for one. Thank goodness, because I did not think that was a foul. I actually were just solid defensively. They weren't, they weren't the most solid defensively, but it worked. That last second try at the net. That's a good outside touch. Dybala. Dybala. Dybala was... I thought Dybala, especially him playing in that striker role, I thought he was smooth. I thought he was a lot better than he usually is, to be honest. Dybala hasn't been that impressive this season. Uh, he was really good at the start of the Champions League, but he hasn't done much. So I thought he played really well today. Um, but other than that, uh, he didn't do enough. I don't think I, he obviously didn't do enough. So that's why Moise Keane had to come in. This first half was, was tense. Yeah, the cut. It's a good shot. You have to get Bernadette off his left, though. <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo and Heathers. 
Cause I, I agree with the VAR call on this because I mean it's 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 tough. It's tough, especially with oh sorry, especially with the way Benucci sort of has been playing in these games. Uh, I don't like Leonardo Benucci, of course. Um, but I just I found that sort of uneasy for me. That was an uneasy goal to watch. But there's not really much you can do about it. As a goalkeeper, it's... it's yeah, there's, there's, not, there's not much you can really bring into it. So... And if you're Christian, okay, so let me, let me just say something as well. If you're Cristiano Ronaldo, what more can you really do to carry Juventus? What more can you do? You scored their last five goals in the Champions League. What more can you do? You cannot blame this on Cristiano Ronaldo, I don't think, in any way, shape, or form. I mean, the guy, the guy has just been putting in work. Like, he, I mean, he did a lot of it with his head, to be fair. Um, but, this Juventus team is just not good enough. I mean, and you, you would think, like, with the talent that they have, that they should relatively be good enough to at least make the semis of the final. Um... I think that that one key player missing. Van Beek, my guy. Or Van de Beek. He was well on side. I don't, I don't know why they were messing about. Allegri, Allegri, big mad. I think... If you're Massimiliano Allegri, what more can you do with this Juventus team? Them not even making it to the Champions League in this season, kind of, he's capped. He's done. He is done. Like, what more can you really do with this squad? That's a good through ball. That's an unlucky finish. Oh, I guess an unlucky last pass. Like, the last pass is what did it. That, just bad touch. Just bad touch. Oh. Young Kings. Young Kings. Chesney, that's a great save. Chesney, Chesney, shout out, shout out to you for this. This is a fantastic save. Tadic, Tadic has been a baller in this, in this series. He's a baller against Madrid, too. And Hakim Zayek, Hakim Zayek, my, my guy, the Moroccan wizard. He is, he has been amazing. They've all been so good, guys. It's so, it's so hard to single out one great Ajax player because they've all been so good. Oh, yeah, well, we're just gonna skip over to that. Whoops. Whoops. The delict, my man. Like, delict, delict. For him to beat Rugani, Alessandro, and Leonardo Panucci in the air. For him to be the youngest captain in the Champions League uh, ever, I, I believe, coming into this. He has his 100th appearance for the club. I mean, uh, he's obviously going to end up leaving probably in, in the summer. Uh, but this has just been absolutely wonderful to watch. And for him to score the winning goal against Juventus, that's a moment you're not going to forget. I know he's, he's going to have a long, long career after this as well. And that is a moment that you can say he will never forget. And it's something that I fans, I fans will probably never forget this team. It's the same way Monica was. Uh, and it, it's, oh, it really warms my heart to see these types of, these young, vibrant players who will eventually, hopefully, go on to have great careers in their own right. Uh, playing at the same time for this team at this time, performing against Juventus, performing against Real Madrid, uh, it's it was amazing. It's been amazing to watch, and I know they're probably going to get you know Man City versus or Tottenham. Um, I think Tottenham is the more favorable matchup for them. Man City, if they're on their game, are probably still one of the best teams in Europe. 
But so are Ajax. We, we can no longer sleep on Ajax. Ajax is no longer an underdog. I think they have claimed their, their right to be, to be called one of the best in Europe at the moment. Uh, but let me know your guys' thoughts on this game. I apologize to Ronaldo fans because, honestly, Ronaldo played his heart out against Atletico Madrid. He was the sole reason for the comeback for that. And against Ajax, he, he did his best, guys. He had a great Champions League. Uh, and have fun with the Scudetto. I guess that's all I can say. Um, enjoy it. Enjoy it. I mean, there's, it's not going to be a treble. And actually, you're not even going to get the Copa Italia. So you'll get one title this year. So, yeah, apologies. But let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Um, I also predicted that game correctly. Uh, so if you, if you will, please go take a look at the rest of my predictions video. That way you can see my predictions for the Tottenham vs. Manchester City and the Liverpool-Porto match and the Europa League matches as well coming up. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And peace.